Hey everyone, it's your friend Pink Noodles, and today is the day we've all been waiting for the launch of Lumion Legacy for everyone. And before you jump in and play, I wanted to make a video for you guys to show you how to get a gleaming beginner. Now make sure you watch this because currently the game is auto save only, and if you go too far, you ain't getting one. So uh, I'll show you guys my my choice, and that is my gleaming vambat. And yes, of course you got. Like, get your eyes open, bro. Show off your yellow eyes there. Um, now this is an alpha gleaming, and guys, don't waste your time trying to get a gamma gleaming beginner because it cannot happen. Uh, in order to get gleaming beginners, there is a feature yet to be announced for Lumion Legacy uh, for Gamma Gleaming. So right now, when you do Gleam Hunt for a beginner, you can only get an Alpha. So if you do that, you're like, no, I, I, I want a Gamma one. Um, you're going to be waiting a long time. <laughs> I literally bought almost 2,000 Lumions in order to get all seven gleaming beginners. Uh, and they're all alpha, and so I asked the developers, guys, what, what, how do I get a gamma on this? And no, 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 that isn't in the demo yet, uh, and it's in an, it's, there's a way you get it in the regular game that's yet to be announced, a certain feature in the game to get gamma gleaming. So just don't waste your time trying to do that. Just go for that alpha gleaming. And I'm gonna show you the best, fastest way to soft reset uh, with the auto save that is built into the game because currently we don't have a an auto save off Slider like we did in brick bronze, which we sorely need and will be added to the game at some point Maybe at launch maybe not I don't know, but it's not in there right now So let me show you at what point in the beginning of the game that you need to soft reset and how to do it as quickly as possible So you can get that gleaming beginner and start it on your journey in Lumion legacy Oh, all right, here we go. Now this is gonna be terrible because I'm gonna erase all of my gleamings and all of the progress in time. I spent 12 hours getting these, but this is for you and this is for the tutorial. All my progress will be lost. Man, this hurts. Oh, wait, <laughs> it's like, are you sure you spent a ton of Robux and a ton of time? Yes, yes I am. Right, so what's gonna happen here is we are going to go through all of the cutscenes and I'm just gonna fast forward to the most important part where you guys want to soft reset and check out whether or not you got a gleaming because you don't want to sit through all of this. Okay guys, so right here in the beginning scene, before you enter the Lumion Laboratory, you want to turn on your Lumi Boosts if you are planning to use them, because when you do soft reset, you will see that it will constantly put you straight through the door on the reset. You won't get a chance to activate the Lumi Boost. So uh, make sure also that you do more than 15 minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead <laughs> and do that. Uh, and there we go, so now, as I continue to soft reset, I will get the X16 boost and I'll go through the door for the first time. All right, so guys, I have timed from when you enter the door until you get to this point, which is the soft reset point. And it turns out it is almost exactly two minutes and 30 seconds after you sit through like the Llama Train Studio logo and the Lumion Legacy intro, and then you click continue and you go through it all. It's about two minutes and 30 seconds per round. Which, I know it sounds like a lot, but you do have to sit through a lot of text. But, as far as like Pokemon or Pokemon clone games go, that's a pretty quick soft reset for a beginner or starter. Uh, typically, in Pokemon games I've played, 
uh, the, the, the soft reset time is somewhere around seven to eight minutes long. So this is three times quicker. And then you have the boosts, so uh, you should be able to do pretty well. Now what you wanna do is choose the starter that you want and you can actually use the keyboard to go quicker through it and then go right here, say which one you choose and then you want to nickname your Lumion. And right here is where you will see whether or not it is shiny. This one is not shiny. Uh, I'll show you guys how to identify whether it is or it isn't. At this point, you see it's not shiny. You can go ahead and X out, then click continue, and it will put you right in front of the laboratory door, and you'll go right in and uh, start the sequence over and uh, keep choosing until you do get that shiny sprite. And at that point, you can name it whatever you want, and you're good to go. Okay guys, so let's look at the sprites now. Probably when you do this, you're gonna see the normal one like 50 or 60 times before you see a shiny one, but you never know, it could be the first one and you wanna be able to recognize it right away. So we're gonna look at Snow Cub here and you guys can see the blue versus the purple and all of these gleaming beginners are really, really different in their sprites. So it does make it really easy. You can see the difference between the two Embits there, and then we've got, of course, Eaglet, then Dripple, and I would say Dripple is probably the closest, but even if you look at it, the green is very obvious. We've got Weevil here, we've got Vambat here, and finally, I think the most different one, oh yeah, <laughs> gotta swap, uh, is Feevine. Uh, so there they are in comparison one to the other and you guys can get a good look at what you're looking for when you are soft resetting. Now uh, you could actually wait until the battle starts and when you're in the battle with your mom, uh, it will show whether or not it is gleaming but that takes a little bit of extra time and that time adds up. So the best way to do it is by looking at the sprites when you rename your Lumion. All right, now you guys know exactly how to soft reset. You know how to compare the sprites. Now, let me show you what each of the alpha gleamings looks like so that you can make a decision on which one you want because it actually might affect your decision based on how they look. So let's start with Snow Cub here and you can see it's more like a lavender color. And you know what? Like, I like to see them more animated. Let's do this, let's do this. Let's just put them here. All right, so uh, Snow Cub is a little tiny, but that's how Snow Cub looks. All of the little feetsies. Uh, then we have Ambit. Here we go, and uh, you can see it, it's, uh, it's a bright pink color there. Get him hoppy hop hop hop. Uh, yep, there he is. Now Feevine is completely different, and I, I actually love his eyes, man. And and uh, out of all the starters, I think this is the one that is the most or ooh, beginners the uh, the most different gleaming from you know the bright green original. And of course, we've got the green dripple, which makes him look way more lizardy than before. Again, I you know I really really do like the gleamings. Um, I mean, I like the originals as well, but the gleamings are awesome. Of course, we have a Weevolt, which uh, which is which is pink, actually, like a really light pink. And even the base color is pink uh, instead of the yellow from Weevolt. And then uh, finally, we have poop. Uh, <laughs> I named it that because it took me over a thousand poops to get a gleaming poop. And um, I think this is the most transformative as far as color goes uh, is Eaglet. And I really like it. Uh, but. Of course, I've already chosen my starter. He's gonna be Vambat, and I'm gonna go for a Gleaming. Let me know in the comments below, guys, which beginner you're gonna choose and which Gleaming beginner is your favorite. And a like this video if you guys are hyped for Lumion Legacy. Subscribe if you wanna see more Lumion Legacy videos just like this one, and don't forget to tap the bell. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, we live.